My name's Robbie Fleming, I'm from Lightworks. And what we're gonna show you, uh, what we're showing at the show is Lightworks on the Mac. We're a little bit different to other editors. We, have, we would tend to work for a flat desktop and we have floating windows. So what we're gonna do is just open a, a quick bin, pick some shots out. So this is my project. This is all the clips I have on it. I'm gonna open a bin, just drop those in. So what I'm gonna do now is create a, a quick storyboard out of these and just to show you roughly how it works. If I come to a clip, I can open it up into a viewer. So like any other editor, you'll find that you can actually just click into it, scrub it through to see what's there. Press a play point. Press I for in like any other editor. We don't need to do out because we do what we call mark and park. So our red marker you're seeing now is actually gonna be the out point. So as soon as I stop that, that gives me that first clip. So if I now, excuse me, let's tidy them up. So if I now double click another clip, it will automatically go into the same source window. So it's not acting like a normal source. Again, all I'm going to do here is just create a quick in and out point. And I'm going to do that on every one to make a storyboard. Okay, so now what, we, now what we're going to do is simply put those in the order we want them. So she's going to start, she's going to be next, followed by her, followed by the cup, followed by that one. And then we can simply storyboard from there, simply right mouse click, make an edit. That makes me another tile. If I open that tile, it looks exactly like the other one here. So I'm going to just lock those into place. Got a little locks. So now this is my source window. This is my record window. If I actually go through it, you'll see that all the shots that we've just picked are in it. And what it's made for me very quickly is an edit. So what I'm going to do here is put the record button on. So now this is the timeline that I'm going to be doing my edit on. So I've done my first cut very quick and easy, and now I can start to adjust it. If I want to actually start trimming, I can come in and I can do a bit of mouse. I can use JKL, so I can zoom through it. You'll notice when I click in here, I can switch them on and off. I can switch both sides on if I want, and just do an L cut or a J cut very quickly and easily. Any point that I can join. If I go one side and one side again, slip and slide, it's really quick and easy. One of the great things about Lightworks from day one, the trimming is one of the best parts of it, and you can really get in and actually edit very quickly. And as with all editors, we can provide all the main things you would expect from a major editor like Avid or Final Cut. So we have effects, we have keyframing. So if I just bring a, a color effects onto here, I have the normal primary second color correction, I can adjust it. We could also then add keyframes into these, so I'll just add the keyframes on here. And we can also then use them as, as splines as well. We are completely native in the timeline. We will do ProRes, Avid DNX, RED, um, XDCam, P2, AVC100, 500, AVC HD. Most of the formats are available to our cameras, we can actually do with all of them. So you can link, or you can bring, bring it from, say, the card into the machine, into your RAID drive, or you can transcode it. So if you're coming from AVC HD and you want to go to an iframe format, we can transcode that to our DNX or to um, ProRes. We're all based on the GPU, so it's based on the graphics card, but all of our effects are real-time based. And anything you put into the timeline will actually be in real time. We have all the normal export, MOV, MXF. Um, we can also do AFF. So if we want to go into like Resolve, Pro Tools, back to an Avid, we can do that based on cuts, audio and dissolves. Uh, you'll notice that we're actually going out on a black magic box here, so we actually already have that put in. So we can, we will be black magic, Matrox and Arja. So we are looking for drivers for all of those. And that's Lightworks. Should be available on the Mac. We're looking around about September time for the fight for, for release or the last beaters. So the price is going to be $60 a year. It's a lease based per, um, purchase where you buy every year. Um, we can also add support onto that as well.